Now, Ashbourne in the heart of Derbyshire's Peak District is usually described in terms of breathtaking beauty, but ghost expert Richard Felix says it's breathtakingly haunted. Mm. Every Tuesday from tonight, he'll be sharing his paranormal knowledge with anyone brave enough to join him on his new ghost walk. We persuaded our spooky correspondent, <laughs> Helen Finch, to go along and find out more. The Green Man Inn is said to be the most haunted pub in Ashbourne. The woman seen in this photo hanged herself after tragedy hit her family. People say they still see her sitting at the same window today. And that's not all. I was looking up one night, just before I went home, I've heard someone behind me moving around, moving things and I turned around and I had a look. There was a, a, woman, a woman figure. Such unusual sightings have drawn television's most haunted Richard Felix into the town. Well, we're literally in what I would call the most haunted part of Ashbourne. Uh, the St Oswald's Church here with the churchyard, very haunted. Uh, the old Drover's Road up here at the side of me, there's the ghost of Aggie at the crossroads. The grammar school across the road, there's a little boy that haunts the attics. And then just across there at the back of us, there's uh, the mansion house. Dr Johnson used to stay there and, and he was, well, would you believe, the world's first paranormal investigator. This is where the blood used to run down from the slaughterhouse. There's ghostly singing been heard in one of the houses up there. But this, Shakespeare's Yard, this could be in York, but no, it's not. This is haunted Ashbourne. Well, it's all very interesting, but Richard did tell me that eight out of ten ghosts can be explained. But then what about the other two? 